What ingredient ruins a sandwich for you? Warm wet lettuce on hot sandwiches. I got an airport quesadilla once. It came with lettuce inside. Nightmarish. Such a disgusting texture. A few years ago, the sub shop in the grocery store near me started doing cheeseburger subs. Usually, the quality of the sandwiches was very good to outstanding. There's an open secret that they partnered with an old-time Italian deli in our city to get recipes when they first started doing sub. So anyway, I figure I'd give the cheeseburger a shot since they were advertising it. The sub guy opens the bread, grabs two burger patties from what I thought was a warming tray, goes down the line for my toppings. I did lettuce, tomato, a little mayo, onion, pickles. He puts the whole sandwich together, wraps it in the paper, cuts it. Then, before I can realize what's happening, puts the whole goddamn sandwich in the microwave and heats it up because the patties are stored, cooked, and chilled. I hope they got their shit together. I wouldn't know because that was the last cheeseburger sub I ever ordered from them. Mealy tomatoes. Thanks for putting words to the sensation. Mealy, that fucking word. One of those where you can feel the texture on your tongue as you're saying it. Well done, you nasty little word. A piece of lettuce that's a little too brown, or the lettuce piece that's a bit slimy, sends me right to Gagsville. Or soggy lettuce, or a piece of lettuce that has the hard, tasteless core part in it. Or soft, cheap bread that gets soggy with the slightest bit of moisture. This is the one thing that will make me reject a sandwich with revulsion. A food critic explained it well to me. The bread is the part that you have the most interaction with, so it has to be good. Don't mind soggy bread, but I cannot stand hard bread that scrapes your gums and is more brittle than a cracker. One of my friends insists on bringing the hardest baguette he can find every time we go hiking, and I can never stand it. Soggy, not fresh tomato. Looking at you, Subway. I used to think I hated tomato. Turns out I just hate shitty tomato. All unripe. Huge pieces of meat that, when I bite instead of cutting and eating a piece, I eat the whole thing and the rest of the sandwich is left meatless. But not before said meat slips out and slaps you on the chin, leaving an unnaturally large mayo mustard mark, making you appear that you have no idea how to consume a sandwich. A piece of roast beef with a vein of gristle running through it, so when you take a bite and don't bite through, you drag the whole piece out of the sandwich in one go. Razor-thin shaved meat is where it's at for a good sandwich. More surface area means more flavor and better mouth feel. If the condiment is not spread right to the edges and in the corners of the bread, if there are big globs of unspread mayo, it's an immediate no from me. Standing with both feet in the lettuce bins with shoes on. Number fifteen. Burger King foot lettuce. These are the questions I want to see on Askredi. Seriously, females of Reddit, what's the femalest female you female you femaled? Nah, these are the real deal. It's what the subreddit used to be before it got taken over by horny redditors and the war of the sexes. Soggy bread. I'd rather starve. Sand, sun. Yay, gravel is the way to go. Larger chunk. Heavy Darth Vader breathing. That wouldn't sand. That was kitty litter. Hair. One night, my daughter prayed before bed. Please, God, don't let the cookies be hairy or gross. I've never made hairy cookies in my life, goofy kid. But hair will definitely ruin a sandwich or any food for that matter. Raisins. Old people always trying to sneak raisins into everything, but I've never heard of it in a sandwich. Sounds fucking awful. I like raisins just as much as every tenth person, but on a sandwich. Whoever you know that puts raisins on a sandwich is not normal. If they're making sandwiches out of raisin toast, that's arguably worse. Is labeled, marketed, and sold as raisin toast, not raisin sandwich bread. Humanity never ceases to amaze me. Unless making a grilled cheese, I can't handle the crappy white bread that mushes to the roof of your mouth. Nasty and can't hold anything together. Grilled cheese is the exception. Be coosed. Who's the exception, Baxi? The toast ones hold everything together and eliminated the. I pre-toast my garbage bread, then spread a condiment on it. It makes the whole sandwich a lot better than untoasted white bread. Lack of sauce. Dry sandwiches are the worst. Very thick tomatoes. Homegrown tomatoes are so good, so much flavor. I can eat them like an apple. Low grocery store ones just taste like water, tap water. Lo Sweet pickles, dill or nothing. 
On a side note, white if is sweet relish, always the only option for hot dogs and brats. Dill pickles is standard for burgers. Why isn't dill relish standard for dogs and brats? My mom always put those bread and butter pickles on sandwiches. I thought I hated sandwiches until I discovered regular dill pickles. Croissant pickles, baby. Celery. Only heathens add celery to sandwiches. I don't know anyone on the planet who put celery on a sandwich. Lots of us eat it on the side, though. Celery is great in tuna salad, but celery on cold cuts. You're right, that's a symptom of a serious mental disorder. Miracle Whip. For years I thought I hated mayonnaise. Turns out I just hate Miracle Whip. Man, all the edible stuff in this thread is what I love about sandwiches. For me, it's if there's way too much meat. When it's like they cut a pound of meat and put in between two pieces of brick with no fixin'. That's not a sandwich to me that's biting into that big chunk of deli meat. Totally agree. I need a good ratio of all ingredients, not just a flappy pile of loose meat. Too much mayo. I don't like mayo at all, and it seems like people put it on everything these days. American cheese. It's fine on burgers, but for a typical sandwich, no. Get that shit out of there and give me some real fucking cheese. Edit. I didn't expect to get so many responses. Good American cheese exists, but craft ain't it. Miracle Whip. Tomatoes. It's not a flavor thing, it's a structural integrity thing. Tomatoes as any other ingredient, especially condiments, creates any tectonic slide of instability that more often results in a pile of ingredients on the table underneath the two slices of bread in your hand. You can somewhat mitigate it by slicing the tomatoes no thicker than two microns, but by that time, what the point? What do they really bring to the table, besides ingredients as they fall out? And before the foodies chime in with its about brightness, the sand acidity, him, shusin, salt, fat acid, sea, and salt for tits are good. Yes, I know. There's other ways to bring a brighter flavor, because most of the year, tomatoes that you didn't grow yourself taste like dog as anyway. Raw onions. I'm almost 45 and feel like I should be past not liking them at this point, but here we are. My grandmother regularly ate a sandwich that consisted of mayo, salt, pepper, and a half-inch thick slice of onion. Lol. Not just on a sandwich, but in general too. Ketchup. One of the greatest mysteries of my life would be how people even bear the smell of it. Mayo. It's in fucking every sandwich.